Welcome back to Plant 3D Virtual Factory. In this video, I'll show you how to insert a real pump model from Grunfos.com site into our 3D layout. Instead of a simple template, we'll use the manufacturer's 3D file, which makes our project much more realistic. We start on the Grunfos website. From the catalog, I can select any centrifugal pump. This type is widely used in industry and perfect for our example. Each product page has a data sheet and also CAD files you can download. At first, I thought about choosing the step file since it can be imported into an AutoCAD drawing, but then I decided on a simpler option. The DWG file was already available. Just press download and wait for the file to finish. The file has finished downloading and now we can open it. Let's switch to a realistic view. And here it is, a nice detailed pump model. Now rotate it to the right side, not upside down like I did. Right now, this is just a solid part. We need to convert it into equipment so we can connect pipes. Let's copy it into our main drawing with the vessel. Select the pump and press Ctrl plus C. Then switch to your main drawing and press Ctrl plus V to paste it in. Select the pump, then go to the Home tab and Equipment. There are many options here, but for now we need Convert to Equipment. Select the pump again and specify the insertion point. Let's give our pump a name. We have our pump, but there are no nozzles to connect yet. Click the button to add suction and discharge nozzles. Set the view to a clear angle so you can see where the pipe should start and in which direction it will run. The nozzle table will pop up. Here you can select the size, end type, and pressure class. In our case, that's DN65 with flanged ends and PN16. All of this information comes from the pump's datasheet on the website. The flanges are already visible in the model. Now, let's repeat the same step for the suction side. We just need to make sure we select the plus sign correctly. Let's check if the nozzles were set correctly. Simply try drawing a pipe. Right. 
Right now, our pump is hanging in the air. Let's fix that. In real pump installations, pumps are mounted on metal frames or concrete foundations. Let's create a simple metal frame using parts from the structure tab. First, select the shape of the model to see not just lines, but solid shapes for better visualization. Then shape of structural member and member settings. Select type and size. I almost forgot. Select a snapping point. It's not strictly necessary, but it can be really handy sometimes. Our pump model even shows the bolt holes used to anchor it in place. Now select member and draw a line. And now you can see that we select wrong snapping points. It's not a big deal. Press edit structure and reselect them. These foundations help keep the pump stable, reduce vibrations, and make maintenance safer and easier. I think I will take bigger profile. Let's speed it up. Even small changes take a bit of extra work. Now, let's place our new pump in position, replacing the old one. I am drawing center line like axis. Measure distance with command DIST to place pump in the center. And that's it. We've successfully inserted a real Grunfos pump into our plant 3D project, complete with nozzles, a foundation, and piping connections. In the next video, we'll continue by redrawing piping with real valves. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more plant 3D tutorials.